Greetings, I'm Professor K. And in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can use the CSI Linux Investigator to search the dark web. Now, I'm currently running Tor through my personal VPN, so my IP address, my actual IP address, is not being shown. I would not recommend that you get on the dark web with your normal IP address being available. Make sure that you use either a gateway or a VPN to hide your actual location and your real IP address. So the first thing you're going to have to do is launch your Tor browser and allow it to install if this is the first time you have used the Tor browser. Now the Tor browser is right down here at the bottom taskbar. Just go ahead and click it. Give it a moment. Now once you have your Tor browser up and running, you can go over here to your applications. And from here inside of the context menu, you can go down where it says dark web. And there are a number of different tools that you can use in here. But down at the bottom is where you have the search engines. So we're going to go ahead and check one of these out. Now the one that probably has the most user-friendly interface is the hidden wiki. So let's go ahead and launch that real quick. Now it's probably not going to associate with my Tor browser, but that's okay. You have to give it time to open up. And it's probably going to error out, which is fine, because I'm just going to go ahead and copy the URL. And I'm just going to close this browser out. Go over here to my address bar inside of the Tor browser. And I'm going to put that in there, and we're going to launch it. This browsing may be rather slow because we're going through the Onion network. So you're being routed from one server to the next server to hide your IP address. All right, so over here you have the content. So whatever it is you're looking for, if you're looking for firearms, false identity, money counterfeits, you're looking for drugs, hacking services, whatever it is you're looking for, this is a good source to help you find it. For instance, if you would like to buy yourself a nice handgun, well, you can buy it on the deep web or the dark web. So you go here inside of deep web gun stores or the Lucky 47 is a good one. And they're from the Ukraine. Now, I don't know if you're going to get any of this. If you send these guys money, I don't know if you'll get, it, get what it is you're ordering. But you can buy any type of weapon you want on the dark web. How you get it to your location, that's a different matter. So you can see that's just one option that you have. Now, there's other things in here that you can buy, like counterfeit currency. You can click on this, and you'll see that you can buy counterfeit money. Let's go down here. Here's passports, ID cards, driver's license, anything you need to start a new life. Well, you can get it in here. It tells you how much it's going to cost you. I don't know that I would use any of these. I'm sure that they're not all that <laughs> genuine. Uh, and it states that they're counterfeit, but I don't know how good the counterfeit is. So you can also, if you choose, you can buy counterfeit currency. $50 USD bills. And it tells you how many you can buy and what the price is. You can also see if they have drugs. You have how to unlock different devices, uh, porn, anything that you can think of in here, they have it. they got escrow payment services so that you can send your money, order the whatever it is you want to order, and then hold your money in escrow until you tell them to release it. If you need a hitman, apparently they got one, or they have some that you can hire right here on the dark web. Also, fake art. Let's see what they got here. This, this, this might be something interesting. So, you can buy fake Rem, uh, Rembrandt. Um, <laughs> you can buy all kinds of fake art. Interesting. And how much does it cost? 4,500 euros. Pretty deep, uh, pretty cheap for a uh, piece of fine art. And you can see this one here is for 4,000. So you know that you're buying fake, so there you go. 
So, but if that's what you want to do and uh, hang it on your wall, then you can get yourself one of these to impress your friends. Now, another one that you can look through if, if you so desire for the dark web, that is to say these uh, search engines, and I haven't been too familiar with uh, a lot of them. This one here requires that you have, it has a capture that you have to figure out, which isn't bad. I think it does, or it's kilos. Kilos may be the one. Let's take this one here and launch it and see what we get. And we just go ahead and copy that URL and close that out. Bring up our Onion browser. And we'll go ahead and we'll just put that into the search or to the address bar there. See what we get. So this is a pretty safe way to browse the dark web. I don't recommend that you browse it too deep. There's some things that's go, that go on on the dark web that you cannot unsee. So caution, uh, just a word of caution. Make sure you know exactly where you're going and what you're doing while you're in these search engines and you're browsing the dark web. They call it the dark web for a reason. Again, depending on your internet connection and how fast your computer is will depend on how your Tor browser is going to respond. Mine's really dragging here, but that's not uncommon because of the Tor network. It, everything is slow on the Onion network. So here we have a search engine designed for the dark web. Now, again, I must caution you. So you have a list of blacklisted services that you cannot search for on here. But if you want something like, let's say, drugs, then you can search for them using the search engine. So here we go. The deep dot market drug category, drugs, weed, anonymous drugs. So you can see that the dark web will provide you with just about anything you want 50 grams of crystal meth ecstasy cannabis that's the dark web so make sure that you understand how serious it is when you go out here and you start looking for things you can get yourself in a lot of trouble so caution is advised search for guns black market guns see a lot of this goes on you're being redirected so go ahead and click on that you wouldn't want to do this <laughs> you would not want to do this from your host machine all right make sure that you're up inside of one of these virtual machines either Cali or the CSI Linux investigator and you're taking all the precautions and we'll see another one here buy guns and ammo using Bitcoin so again again and again it just takes a lot of patience because of the slowness of the onion network it looks like I use Walter PPK there's a Desert Eagle tells you how much they want for it 1250 euros six hour P226 9 millimeter so you can see that you can just buy just about anything that your little heart desires up here, but you really, really have to be smart about what you do up here. Again, there's a lot of things that go on in the dark web that you cannot unsee. So make sure you know exactly what it is you're looking for. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about browsing the dark web using the Tor browser and the Onion network. So if you have any questions or concerns about any of the material that you were shown in this short video presentation, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.